I needed a small inexpensive point and shoot camera and I got this Fuji JZ100 fine picks with a wide angle 25 millimeter it goes up to 8 times zoom to about 200 millimeter 14 megapixel 2.7 inch screen and here I, I'm just putting in a small disc is a probably like a class 4 SD card and I shot videos with it before it worked out okay so this is how it looks you can turn it on with a long push on this button here or this button on top now you have to be careful the lens sticks out quite a bit so you have to be careful you don't bump it against something maybe the window or something this is how it looks like most regular cameras the buttons are, are pretty much the same you have flash here you can force the flash to be on or you can have a timer button here you have macro here and delete button is here and this is playback this is you press this you can choose whether you have the display on or not and let's see here okay let's start with menu here there are many different shooting modes you can use this one here the default is scene recognition this is sort of like the simple idiot proof way of shooting or you can pick the many other different forms of auto shooting this is auto program this one here I like this one is two images shot continuously without flash and with flash so if you pick this you'll take two shots and it's good because sometimes the the flash you use tends to to have hot spots and the photo is not natural so with this you can have both shots at once so here's the natural and flash shot So you'd see two shots here. You see two shots, one without the flash and one with the flash. This one is without the flash, this is with the flash. So I like this one here. And you have natural light scene mode, portrait. This one again is something that I like because um, you have soft overall tone and beautiful skin tones it'll probably soften up the image so it doesn't show wrinkles that much the ladies would like that okay clear scene shots action night night fireworks sunset snow beach party flower is sort of like macro text again again it's like a close-up and back to the top and let's go let's go into the different um, settings here image size you can pick up to you know 14 megapixel I choose M which is for medium size, 16 by 9 which is uh, widescreen, uh, 5 megapixel, you can pick um, 4 by 3, 16 by 9, so I pick the medium. Image quality is, uh, you can pick fine or normal I just picked normal and fine picks color here you have standard or black and white 
Now notice the white balance is white out and ISO is sort of white out. That means I guess you can't pick it. Okay, lastly you have the setup mode. Don't want to format that for sure. Okay, you go into the setup mode and you update stamp. You can pick your video system. This is sort of like a demo, I would think. Background color. Save original image. Movie zoom type if you pick optical. Then you won't hear the uh, zooming of the motor. You can have red eye removal for your photo shoot and do IS mode, the um, stabilization, auto power off, etc. Most of these are pretty standard. It's probably better to put the hand strap on right away and use it because you drop this you have to buy another one. I guess that's why people have to keep buying them. So here's a handheld video shot of my gondola that I bought in Italy. Is powered by you got it solar if you turn it to this side that's the box that came with it and I got it uh, for $59 $60 plus $5 shipping from one sale a day and this camera I saw uh, selling for maybe $120 somewhere else and when I was in uh, Venice I saw it in a store for 130 euro which would be 150 so this is a real good price for a point and shoot camera Big zoom range, 8 times 14 megapixel, handsome looking. The only thing you have to be careful is sometimes if you press, if you have this in the pocket, it can turn on automatically because you bump against this button. You basically have to hold it in for maybe half a second before it turns on. So 